Oh, hi. Good, uh, good evening. Yeah, so today I just wanted to um, share with you a couple of things about uh, um, micro cap stocks or small cap stocks that I think um, has a tremendous uh, S-curve uh, potential. You know, if you're looking for um, more than 20% upside or 30% upside in your investments, you know, you, of course, you can by all means go for Occidental, you know, copy trading Warren Buffett's uh, investment strategy or just um, buying the dip at one of those um, fang stocks, uh, you know, could be Apple, you know, where you, you know, the, the, the likelihood of getting a 20% growth over a couple of years is always there. But if you're looking for more riskier bets, you know, like um, company that has market cap of uh, less than 10 billion, which is considered as a small cap, they are usually in the Russell 2000 and index. And um, and I believe um, Grab is actually one of the companies uh, it was listed um, as a SPAC during the 2021 period. Uh, as you know, 2020 and end of 2020 and the entire year of 2021, there's a lot of um, uh, record-breaking uh, listings uh, via specs, is, which is a special purpose uh, vehicle, um, whereby, you know, it's a shell company and then uh, all these um, other existing companies that are in business will inject their um, business into this shell company in exchange for shares and all that. So, um, you know, Companies that have a tremendous S curve, you definitely would need to look at, um, or at the beginning of the S curve, you know, whereby you will see an, an exponential growth. You're looking at companies that has a uh, uh, moat, which is of course um, market leader, which is one of those in a Warren Buffett strategy. And then of course they should need to have pricing power. And I believe uh, Grab is definitely one of them. And, uh, one of the fastest growing region is definitely Southeast Asia. If you compare other similar companies like C Limited, which runs a Shopee or uh, what do you call it, a Coupang, you know, that, that's only only in Korea, which they started in going venturing into Tokyo and Japan as well. Uh, among the three, the super apps, so you call it, right? Um, I would say Grab definitely has the biggest advantage. Grab definitely is a leader in Southeast Asia for ride hailing, which Shopee isn't. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Grab has um, uh, also a fintech company, which allows you to have to, to uh, like an e-wallet. And they got a um, um, fintech uh, license um, with, together with DBS Bank in Singapore, allow them to even start to accept um, insurance products or to deposit funds in the company. So, um, if you look at uh, comparative uh, recent third quarter results, year on year basis, um, of course, Uber shares, you can see after the third quarter results, it actually goes up by 10%. But of course, it has gone down a little bit now, but it is still pretty much uh, an increase on uh, year to on year basis, which is obvious because last year was um, a period whereby, you know, market was just opening up and a lot of uh, international travel was still not allowed. As you can see, Grab is def and, and Uber are definitely, I would say, a travel-related company. Um, so um, if you want to look for a company that has higher potential of having a third quarterly results, you know, rather than going through an earnings uh, compression or valuation compression, um, then I these companies... Uh, whereby Grab is going to announce their third QR quarter results on the 10th of November, should be doing well, it seem, should be doing as similar as Uber, year on year basis. You know, um, not many, many, not many companies, I, I would say a, a, a mixed bag you know, for this third quarter. Uh, there are many companies as well, which uh, year on year basis are doing less well relative to 2021, but travel related or, you know, this kind of, um, spec companies like uh that's so-called super apps right has definitely in the short term it's i think it's good and also 
quite good in the long term basis as well. You know, they could be the next fang, you know, in, in the future. And uh, and definitely Uber is a very good indication on how you would expect Grab's uh, third quarterly result to be. And um, so, as you can see, uh, Grab is definitely in Philippines, uh, Vietnam, um, Malaysia, Singapore, and um, Thailand as well, as um, which has huge population count and there's still a lot of people that are very poor and haven't actually embraced um, the uh, what you call it um, uh, the, 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 the the tech um, uh, you know um, going into this uh, technology driven so there's still a lot of growth potential as you can see revenue on year on year basis and their forecast is definitely there and their profit growth and their potential growth and they expect to break even in 2024 in second quarter which is not far away and um, so you, you can see the specs and now what you're buying right now is actually this all-time low which is about 2.2 dollars and 50 cents or 2 dollars 70 cents um and then and then as you can see um grab being a market leader right now you know they don't really give up so much uh, incentives to their drivers and you can see the right fare also has gone up a lot compared to previously and they as uh, you can go into uber's uh, ceo's um, um interview on cnbc a uh, few days ago it says that the the price are there to stay you know the increase in price so uh, gross booking for the quarter came in 29 billion up 26 percent year on year number of monthly active consumer jumped by 124 to million up 14 percent year on year there were 1.95 million trips completed on the uber uh, up 19 percent so if you look at grab grab should easily be doing much much better so it's definitely a, a decacon the biggest technology startup in the region so uh, take note of that and uh, in terms of brand you can see philippines clear winner right here link not just in their motor cars they are also in the um bikes as well which i did take quite a bit when i went to manila and indonesia uh thailand and vietnam as well uh and uh, you can see philippines they have a 91 percent share in the market so um grab same year touted fastest growing company um market leader as well in vietnam very uh, popular uh, po population centric kind of com uh, country e-wallet um, they are doing well in malaysia and singapore many people in malaysia are using e-wallets as well uh, to buy stuff in that is already with a lot, a lot of merchants uh, cashless societies uh, malaysia singapore and philippines and then um, so what other things that probably you need to know is uh, grab financial services fintech platform announced today that they're launching grab fin a new brand digital payments insurance and lending and wealth management offerings so basically grab is um at this current pricing right now it's quite an amazing buy so um i just wanted to to share with you that hopefully uh, november the 16th you know this is definitely after the midterm elections hopefully market doesn't tank and affect uh, affects um uh, becomes a macroeconomic issue and affects uh, grab's earnings but other than that if you look at pure earnings itself it should be doing really well so yeah i hope you like the channel and hope you like the content and please subscribe to my channel thanks a lot